Ransomware attacks are up 20% from last year, according to Checkpoint Software, as companies contend with more sophisticated threat actors using AI in nefarious ways. So for more on this, I'm joined by Gil Schved, Checkpoint Software CEO. And Gil, I read some of your research earlier this morning. I was surprised by this 20% number because the narrative on cyber last year was that the Ukraine invasion by Russia was going to take a lot of Russian and Ukrainian hackers off the grid. They were going to be distracted, employed otherwise, and not able able to participate in the ransomware economy, but you are saying they have bounced back, or at least others have filled the gap, right? Absolutely. First, they've bounced back, and we have hackers from all over the world. It's not just Russia. Yeah. So when you look at that 20% increase, what's driving it? Is it the AI technology, or is there something else out there uh, that's really motivating these folks? I think it's the fact that uh, there is a lot of stake on the internet. The attacks are becoming more sophisticated. They are becoming bigger, and even the financial stakes are much, much bigger. You know, five years ago, a ransomware was a few hundred dollars. Today, we see ransomware attack of four million dollars and fourteen million dollars, and that's and that's the norm. Not even against national infrastructure, but against mid-sized companies. That uh, and we can't uh, stop companies from paying it, can we? I mean, there's this debate and over and over in ransomware is if you stop paying the ransom, you're going to stop the financial incentive for people to do this. But again and again, companies make the decision that they have to pay. First, not everybody pays. I think big, big majority of companies don't pay. Second, I think sometimes when your business is down and gone and what uh, kind of between you and running a business is paying ransom, I'm not here to judge that. Let's put it that way. I'm here yeah. to... Kind of, we are here to explain how to avoid that rather than how to uh, deal with the damages. Well, let's talk about the way that AI could impact uh, this kind of problem, because you look at ransomware and, and you, you don't have to be super sophisticated to conduct a ransomware attack, but you do have to know what you're doing a little bit. I wonder if AI and things like ChatGPT and GPT-4 open up the world for even less sophisticated attackers to get in, and they don't have to code it themselves. They can just get AI to write the malware for them, and they can launch it uh, with the push of a button. You're absolutely right. AI lowers the bar to creating a ma ransomware or malware in general to a very basic skills. Um, it takes some skills anyways. And by the way, the companies like OpenAI do put filters that prevent it from creating malware. But we've seen and we published some research we saw how you can overcome these limitations and still trick it to uh, still give you some uh, malware, and that uh, makes it uh, easier to participate in are you, that. Uh, are, you seeing uh, AI, are you seeing AI written malware out in the real world now, or is this just theoretical? No, no, it's not theoretical. We've seen real malware that was written by AI that exploited these tools and uh, created the uh, real attacks, and some of them even quite sophisticated attacks. Some of them even used the unknown uh, zero-day uh, risks. So when you look at AI, the potential is there for the attackers, but also presumably defenders can do something with AI to benefit themselves. How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. First, I think we are using today, for example, we have today 75 engines on our cloud that prevent attacks. Over half of them, over 40 of them are already based on AI. 